You're listening to KTWR, broadcasting from the beautiful island of Guam. Our program is heard each Sunday at 1026 Coordinated Universal Time. Broadcasting on 15200 kHz in the 19 meter band. Coming up next is DXer Diary. This is KTWR, Aganya, Guam, where hope knows no barriers. Friends and fellow DXers, this is your favorite program, DXS Daily, produced and presented for Transworld Radio by Arun Kumar Nasiman from Chennai in India. This 5-minute weekly DX program is broadcast every Sunday from Guam in KTWR 15200 kHz DRM mode from 2026 hours UTC. Every week we provide you with the latest information about DXing and the short wave radio broadcasting. We have been providing information about sunspot number, SFI forecast and A index every week with the hope that it would be useful for DXs and amateur radio operators across the world. The sunspot number this week is 22. The SFI forecast ranges from 88 to 90 and the A index ranges from 8 to 12. We have been broadcasting information about various DX clubs and radio clubs across the world every week. This week, we will get to know information about the International Radio Club of America. According to information available on their website, IRC, the International Radio Club of America, is a club devoted to the hobby of hearing distant radio stations on the broadcast band. DX Monitor, the official publication of IRCA, is published 35 times a year weekly from October to March, twice in September and April, and monthly from May to August. DX Monitor contains members' loggings, articles on radio stations, receiver reviews, technical articles, DX tips, and other material of interest to broadcast band DX hobbies. On February 1, 1964, an organization called the National Radio Club, Incorporated, NRCI, was incorporated under Colorado law by six Denver area National Radio Club members. The first bulletin of the NRCA was published on March 17, 1964 and was sent to 60 members. The name of the bulletin was DX News. All columns and features were identical to those in the old DX News published by NRC. In mid-April 1964, the publishing staff of NRCI felt that the newly formed club should seek a separate identity, both because of technical flaw in the bylaw and also to avoid future conflict with the NRC. The name of the club was changed to International Radio Club of America Incorporation. The bulletins named to DX Monitor, and the names of the columns and features in the bulletin were changed also. For the first year of its existence, IRCA operated under the temporary constitution and bylaws adopted at the 1963 Denver Convention. For more information, listeners can log on to IRCA website www.ircaonline.org. I repeat, it's www.ircaonline.org. Let's look at some of the interesting news from the world of radio. The Sri Lankan Broadcasting Corporation has revived its Tamil language program in the medium wave. The program is broadcast every morning from 1.30 hours UTC to 2.30 hours UTC in 873 kHz from its Puttalam transmitter. SLBC has stopped this morning broadcast several years ago and based on the request from listeners in Tamil Nadu, the southernmost state of India, SLBC started this broadcast again on January 20, 2022. Listeners were encouraged to air their views about the program live and a flood of callers spoke in the program expressing their happiness about the revival of the Tamil broadcast. DXS Jerry would like to encourage the concept of pen pals among DXS across the world. If anybody is interested to get in touch with other DXs across the world, we will act as a bridge by announcing your name and details in DXS Dairy program so that any other DXer can contact you and you can exchange information about DXing or anything else about the hobby of radio listening. Friends, we have come to the end of the program now. As in the past, I request you to send your logs, band scans, reception reports, views and opinion about the program to dxsdiary at gmail.com. I repeat, it's dxersdiary at gmail.com. Please do keep encouraging us by sending your reception reports regularly and we will acknowledge your reception reports with a QSL card or a eQSL as early as possible. We request you to please be safe from COVID-19 and Omicron 
by staying home and following three simple steps using soap wearing mask and maintaining social distancing besides continuing to do your favorite hobby dxing until next week this is your friend arun kumar nasiman signing off 73 bye bye